In the name of the one God, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Please be seated. Pueden sentarse. When we listen to the Holy Scriptures passages today, the first lesson, we heard the story of Abraham and Sarah and how God promised them a great many, many descendants at a time when they were already elderly people. Abraham was 90 years old. Adán tenía 99 años, 99 years old, and Sarah was 90, 90 años. If we were to hear such a thing about a couple today, we will become more than likely to think, no way, that's impossible. That's impossible. Eso es imposible. It is perhaps that the same reaction that Peter in the Gospel had when Jesus told him, Peter, listen, the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, be rejected by the chief priests and the scribes, captured, tortured, Heal, and after three days, rise again. No way. That cannot be possible. For some reason, as human beings, it is difficult for us to accept what we consider to be both good news or bad news, all wrapped together in one bundle. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 8 through 9, tells us, My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So Jesus' disciples will learn this in a hard way. And we'll hear from him, from Jesus, the most shocking thing he had ever told them until now. If anyone wants to become my followers, if you want to be with me, if you want to be my disciple, let them deny themselves, take up your cross, follow me. For those who want to save their lives, will you save? With these words, brothers and sisters, Jesus wants to remove from the disciples and from us the temptation of security. This is a very common temptation in our life the temptation to be secure. And that is what we must learn to accept today. If the grain of wheat does not die, it will not bear fruit. This is the hope that underlines the Christian life. Last week, <clears throat> When I was preparing my report for the annual meeting, and I got to the funeral statistics, it touched my heart because the list is so extensive. So extensive. Not only are there members, of, members and former members of the congregation, but also relatives or friends of many of us. You will be able to see the data in the annual report. I count at least 13 funerals 
of members and former members of this congregation, 13 or 14, something, 13. But on the other hand, when we go to the statistics of baptisms, we have another 14. 13 members of this congregation pass away, and we baptize 14. But the list is extensive because other relatives or friends pass away as well. It is when we reflect on these moments, in the difficulties, in the lost loved ones, in the challenges in this congregation, when we feel ourselves lost and sadness, and we ask ourselves, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening in our life and what is happening in the life of this congregation? So dear brothers and sisters, these are the moments when the strongest of temptations are present. The search of personal security. The temptation of forgetting about others. The temptation of putting aside the mission of the church as disciples of Jesus. This is exactly what happened to Peter. He cannot accept the suffering, the rejection, the betrayal, and the death of Jesus. The Apostle Paul, on the other hand, is one of the followers of Jesus who knew how to overcome this temptation of security. And he makes this clear in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 1, verses 24, 21. For to me, to lie is Christ, and die is again. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Like these disciples, sometimes we feel like fleeing, not committing, avoiding suffering. And in those moments, we ask God to give us the strength to understand that his thoughts are not our thoughts and that his ways are not our ways. Brothers and sisters, may these days of Lent be for us, for every one of us, a renewal a renewal of our Christian life. And may we renew it through sacrifice, self-denial, service, and prayer. Amen.